I have punched ghasts for over 50 hours this month, all to level up my combat skill. Was it worth it? Absolutely not. Anyways, what's going on everyone? It's me Toadstar and welcome back to some more Hypixel Skyblock today. I'm so done with these ghasts. I have been sitting in front of these stupid ghasts for like a month now. And check this out. Just a couple minutes ago, boom, combat 33. This is where I'm calling the quits. I'm done with ghasts. My dragon pet's level 82. I'm gonna stop there. I just, I can't sit in front of those ghasts anymore. We have to do something else. So, uh, say hi to Bluebane. He's, uh, he's getting some talismans. He's eating up all my coins for free. Yeah, he's, he's taking all my coins. That's fine. He, he can do that. He built a school base. But, uh, today, we are preparing for dungeons. I'm gonna be giving you my plan, and we're gonna buy some stuff, because we need to buy th some things now. And, uh, if you wanna leave a like down on this video, uh, that would be appreciated. There's, like, 89 or 90, I think it's, like, 90% of you guys aren't subscribed, and it's, like, just, just do it. I mean, it, it's free. It makes me happy, uh, Help me become one of those epic Skyblock YouTubers, because because more subs means I have to make more good content, or else people are going to get mad at me and yell at me, and then I'm going to get cyberbullied into existence. So, uh, sub subscribe, and, uh, say hi to Bluebane. Uh, he's following me. So, uh, today, uh, we're going to actually be purchasing some different armor sets and stuff. Today's going to be our big purchasing day, so, uh, Bluebane's just going to look at the account and say, What'd you do with all the coins? I'm going to be like, I bought you stuff. And he's going to be like, oh, that's cool, actually. So yesterday I put some bids on, it looks like, yeah, I put some bids on Protector Dragon Armor. Now, I know what you're thinking. So yesterday I went and actually put some bids on Protector Dragon Armor. And you know how that armor used to be worth like 100,000 coins? It was like, no one liked it, no one liked it. Except me, I, I loved it and I still love it, but no one liked it. Check this out. It's going up. 300,000 coins for that. Granted, that one for 182k. But I put 130k bids on all of these. And we lost all of them. Protector Dragon Armor, as I predicted six months ago, is skyrocketing in price, and uh, hopefully it's not like 500,000 coins each because everyone's realizing, hey, it's great for dungeons, and it is. So uh, let's go, uh, let's take all of our coins out of the bank because uh, that's just what we're going to do. We're going to take all of the coins out. Goodbye, coins. Sorry, Blue Man, I need all these coins for a video. Uh, he's going to get mad at me. Okay. All right, Protector ending soon. We need a helmet. Uh, that's protection five. We don't want that. We want uh, gro uh, growth five with it as well. Come on. We need a helmet. Why are all these helmets enchanted incorrectly on purpose? It's like, there we go. So that one ends in an hour. We're going to bid 140,000 on that one too. So we bought that. Now we got to go buy ourselves some uh, some bows because look at this bow. This bow ain't going to... It's not going to... Who wants a free bow? I probably shouldn't actually drop it in case I get it in dragon fight or something. <laughs> So there we go. Let's bid that. Uh, let's go win our Protector Dragon Armor back because this guy is a clown and we need to beat him. I just bid 185,000 coins of Protector Dragon Armor. That's fine. He's going to be mad. Uh, we need to grab this chest plate because we are making him a set of Protector Dragon Armor that has fully maxed Hot Potato books because that's defense. So uh, we're going to take that. We're going to throw this on the chest plate. Boom. Whoop, whoop, there we go. D d that didn't do anything. Oh, no, no, okay, now it's now it's 60, okay. I was gonna say, that literally did nothing. So, there we have it. Oh, hold on, we have wise bags. I don't, I don't need these. We're gonna sell these on the dark zone. It doesn't matter anymore. All right, let's tell him that we bought the armor and bows so he doesn't actually get mad at me when, I, when we lose the coins. Perfect. All right, sweet, sweet. Okay, all right, so Bluebeam's gonna get a farmer orb because he needs talismans, so uh, we're gonna leave him that. I left him a 2 million coin budget for uh, talismans because he doesn't have any right now, so he's a... He's getting some. I really hope we win all these auctions, so I'll check back in like an hour and a half, which is... Okay, I know when that time is. Anyways, I need to find a time to buy a ton of hot potato books. If anyone's willing to sell me some hot potato books slightly less than 120,000 coins, uh, let me know. I'll buy them all. I need like 70 or something ridiculous, you know? But another thing we want to look into is actually buying lifesteal. So if I try to find a lifesteal 4 in here... Right here. And they go for like 1.8 million, realistically. 1.8 to 2 million. So I'd probably have to bid 2 million on each of these. You're going to want a lot of lifesteal in dungeons so you can restore your health as fast as possible. Especially if you're a tank setup in like protector dragon armor or like uh, perfect armor. Either one. 
You want life steal so you can win and heal all of your health back instantly and then you don't die. Uh, also, if you're a DPS, you want life steal because that's the only way you're going to survive is to be able to heal more damage than you take, obviously. So uh, something exciting, which I haven't done, is I've been working really hard to get a base damage of 75,000. Yesterday I was at 74,000. But we leveled up our dragon pet twice and our combat skill by one today, so we used to do... 74,292 damage. Alright, just take my word for it. That's how much we did. Now we deal... 76,000! Hey, let's go! See, look at that. 2,000 damage per combat level. Of course, I'm I'm done. I'm done farming ghasts. Uh, I take them down, but uh, Bluebane still needs them for just a little bit. Oh, but check this out. End sword swap? Uh, that was terrible. 148k. We can do better. Oh, uh, that wasn't a crit. 148k. Okay, never mind. We can't do better. But another thing, check this out. You know how you always have to, like, you know... Look, look at my crit chance. That's, it's 83 when I hold the sword. That's not... It's not 100, you know? So, uh... You can't farm Zealots, obviously, because that would just be, you know, too overpowered. Like, there's no way a Skyblock player could... Could deal 13,000 damage without a critical... Hit, right? That was too convenient. Another thing I put some work in today is because y'all made fun of me in the last video for having a foraging level under 20. So we got that to 20. All right, we got that to 20. Uh, shout outs to in my guild, actually, right here, Rascool, for loaning me a tree capacit or tree capitator and an ocelot pet. I leveled it up to like 20 levels for him because it's nice to let me borrow it. And uh, we got ourselves a couple more foraging levels, just just so we won't get clowned on. Here's my stats. Uh, we actually have a lot of strength now, which is very nice. Also, you want to see something sad? I missed one note. I still haven't done this. I'll try it once in the video right here, alright? I, I can't. I can't do it. I can't do it. I just, I hate the stupid harp. It doesn't work. It's bugged. It's broken. It's laggy. It's gone. I should burn it. It's worth like 600,000 coins, so I'm not going to burn it, though. One more thing which I haven't decided if we're going to invest in this or not is Slayers. My Slayer levels are terrible. It's been pack master it's okay, but like, I can't use the Overflux Orb, for example. You have to be level 7. And I don't know anyone that has an Overflux Orb. And I still can't use it anyways. But Wolf level 7 is like 16 million coins, and then you actually need the Overflux Orb, and then it's a whole mess, and no one really wants to... Who <laughs> wants to kill wolves for as long as I kill- What is this armor? I respect that. Actually, another cool thing we've done on this island is we built this thing. You're probably wondering what this building is once I showed it at the start of the video. It's just a cobblestone farm because you know how you needed to get to mining level like 20-something to, to use the new reforges? Well, I went to mining level 22. Going from 21 to 22 took almost a whole day. I don't know why. Mining is not fun to grind. I'm not going to 24. Nah, no one needs the fancy renowned reforges on the armor, nah. But yeah, future plans for our next episodes, we're probably going to tear down our little ghast farm and put some minions here, either like potato minions or just money-making minions in general, so I don't really know. We haven't decided yet. If you've made it to the end of this video, be sure to, if you have not already, leave a like and subscribe, because if you watched all of this, then it must have been at least somewhat tolerable, and you probably will watch one again, so uh... Click, click the red button. It turns gray if you didn't know. Uh, you, you should do it. All right, just, just do it. Th all right, thank you. Have an awesome day, and I'll see you all for the next one. All right, peace out.